your credibility has disappeared overnight. Okay, so don't be misled with that. Okay, you, you if you don't if you don't have any authority over it, why are you sat here tonight, and why why aren't the people that do have the authority sat here tonight? You're the mayor of the area. Okay, so nobody voted for this. Hardly anybody knew about this before Christmas. And the only reason they know about this now, as you well know, is because certain social media sites were set up to inform people what was happening. You're rolling out the cameras for this under the cover of darkness and under the cover of COVID. You know everything that's going on. If you don't, you may as well pack your bags and leave now, because you should. And the whole thing is anti-democratic. So before you go back in July to Mr. Johnson and his cronies, you come to the people and you hold a referendum. That's the only thing that we, the people, are giving you a mandate to do. Okay. If you don't hold, so a, would referendum, you hold a referendum, if you this? don't hold a referendum, you are anti-democratic so, okay. and you have no answer. right to be in office. The thing you need to do is obviously go back to where this began. And where did this begin? It didn't begin with Greater Manchester. It began with the government. It is government policy. So you talk about whether or not uh, you can have a referendum. We aren't in a position to unilaterally rip up a legal direction from the government. We but did can't Greater have Manchester decide on the size of it? Because that was I just acknowledge, in the response to the gentleman, I The question did, I'm asking, whether you, you personally did it or not, I accepted is it, are that. you accepting the size is wrong and it needs to change? Well, so I, I'm ex you know, in answer to your question, I said that was a decision at the Greater Manchester level, but then ratified by the government, which they said was, they also said that is the right way to go. Oh, now, so what I'm, what I'm saying to you is, and I've been saying this all year, I had doubts last year about the plan and the way in which it, it would come into force in the kind of new world that we were in. This was a plan designed pre-pandemic for a very different scenario and a very different world. 